Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to another initial focus video and today is an app review However, it's going to be a little bit different as you can see in front of you You see a iPhone 6s plus as well as my OnePlus 3 Now the reason I have both phones out here is because I've been really interested lately in seeing differences between the same app on different platforms so today we're going to be taking a look at Twitter. So not necessarily a review of Twitter since most people in the world have it, but a lot of people don't know how the opposite platform looks and works. So we're going to do a little bit comparing and contrasting. And then I want you guys to let me know down in the comments which one you like and prefer, whether it's your platform or if you would like design aspects to come over from the opposite. So let's go ahead and jump into it here now just to show you startup times, I am proving that there are, I just tried to hit a multitasking button on iOS, oh boy. Just to prove that there are no applications currently launched here, so this will be a true startup test. They are not in its RAM management or whatever. So let's go ahead and start these guys up. Now, as you can see, the Android one did load a little bit faster. Now, obviously your results may vary depending on the device you have, but just a little test for you. Now, right off the bat, one thing I notice is that on iOS kind of has its menu bars kind of split between the top you have where you post the tweet, um, where you can search Twitter and add new people. Across the bottom is where you have your typical menu bar as comparison to the Android. Across the top is going to be your search and all your main and profile and yada yada. And then the only thing down here is to actually post a tweet. So, from just looking at this, I'm going to go to the top of the feed. And I do like the fact that iOS has a new tweets function where it takes you right to the top. Um, however, I do believe if I hit this home button, it will automatically take me to the top up there. So one thing I noticed off the bat is that you see a lot more content on the iOS version of uh, Twitter. So the menu bar at the top is going to be less as well as I think just the typical on the phone, the actual battery and time and everything is a little bit thinner as well. So you get a little bit more content viewing on iOS, which is nice. These are both five and a half inch screens. So it's the same amount of screen real estate to take advantage of. Now, obviously Twitter is a very big company and known throughout the world. So I expect that most uh, pretty much every single feature is going to be the same on each individual app, but they just kind of look differently. For example, if you want to see your profile on iOS, you just hit the me icon at the bottom and it takes you right to the uh, your profile page. Whereas on the Android version, you want to hit your little avatar or whatever at the top and you get this kind of typical Android menu system off to the side and you can see a couple different options here and I could hit profile and it takes you to that same page. So while the menu can be nice because it gives you a couple more options, if you want to see your profile, it does take one extra little step. The rest are going to be the same, just slightly out of order. You have notifications, moments, and messages. Here you just have uh, moments, notifications, and messages, just in a slightly different order, but going to give you and show you pretty much the same exact information. Let's go to notifications, and messages, and it's all going to be pretty standard. As you can see up here, you have the create new message and create new message down here. So as you can see, both apps are very much similar. Like I said, Twitter is a huge company, so most likely they're going to keep all of their features on both platforms, but it is kind of interesting to see how the material design of Android or the regular flat design of iOS make the developers tweak them a bit to be just slightly different. Um, but yeah, let me know down if in the comments if you guys think which platform is better as well as if you think comparing Android versus iOS apps is more interesting than just doing a normal app review. I definitely am curious to see what you guys thought about this video. Thanks so much guys and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.